Township neighbors seeing the damage for the first time after the only road in to the rest of the Pointe Woods neighborhood caved in during Wednesday's storms. WSBT 22's Erica Finke has a look at the damage. There are 15 homes on the other side of this collapsed road and really no other way for these people to get in or out. And while it's been wild for the neighbors in this area to see this destruction, the Berrien County Road Commission is starting this process to get it fixed. An absolute mess where the only road into the Point O Woods neighborhood used to be. The last 48 hours have been a logistical uh, nightmare, we'll say. Kevin Stack with the Berrien County Road Commission says it happened around noon Wednesday because of too much rain in a short amount of time. According to Stack, the water line for the normally shallow stream rose 8 to 10 feet. The water maxed out the culvert, came down the road, and saturated the sand underneath the roadway, causing it to give way. Neighbors that have walked by the destruction are shocked. It blew my mind. Rachel Agens and her daughters usually ride bikes in that part of the neighborhood, but realize that won't be a possibility for the next few months. It was a little worse than I expected, honestly. I, I knew we'd be able to see it, but it, pretty much the whole road has collapsed, and I did not see that coming. It's, uh, it's pretty destructive. People can't even make it past the road. It's way worse than I expected. I thought it would just be like... Not that deep, but it was deeper than I expected it to be. No one was hurt in the collapse, and Stack says the Road Commission has been rerouting residences' mail and trash to the front of the neighborhood. The rebuild is estimated to cost half a million dollars, but there's a temporary route in and out for about two months using a golf cart path through the Point O' Woods Golf and Country Club. If this duration extends past a month, we got to find another route because cars and golfers aren't going to go well together. The County Road Commission is working with the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy to clean up the creek and they hope to have this entire road done in about two months. In Benton Township, I'm Erica Finke, WSBT 22 News.